so like you can see this was the, the protection of uh, uh, balcony you can see where the the uh, beams were and now somebody will be complaining particularly the landlord there will be a notch that you have to align now notice as the two uh, timing marks are exactly on the top notice as the timing marks on the middle between the two pulleys are also aligned if this is not the case uh, turn the manual says to turn the um, the engine another revolution not, this timing belt does not have the timing marks so I will just for future reference and to compare with the timing belt that I will be putting in I'll be putting in a, Toy a genuine Toyota timing belt uh, I'll just mark position of the timing marks uh, corresponding to the belt idler pulley tensioner. To this we will have to alternately, alternately uh, loosen the two bolts. So out comes the uh, timing belt tensioner. We now remove the timing belt. Very carefully not to lose the marks on the, on the timing belt. If you have some problems removing the, the bolt, the crankshaft uh, pulley bolt, use your the pair of your, use, use a pair of pliers but use a, a, bit, a, a bit of uh, thick rubber like this piece of uh, this piece of uh, pipe 
to cover the the mouth of the pliers not to uh, damage anything of course it's always better to learn your lesson and put some uh, lubricating oil on the on the bolt before you insert it you will have to remove this uh, um, pulley here so let's just apply a little bit of oil to let it work while we remove the idler pulley of course you would not do this uh, when you are only changing the timing belt uh, because of all the oil uh, this will have to be everything will have to be cleaned uh, on reassembly uh, so that all the surfaces will be free of grease because Timing belt cannot be installed with the, in greasy surfaces. Comes crankshaft timing pulley.